Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, as I said with someone's comments that I would do the um, Ship of Fools there for an intro, um, the uh, backing track was nowhere to be found anywhere, so I just put a droning E thing there because um, that's all he has going on in the first, like, eight bars, and then for the second eight bars, um, the bass is kind of moving. It sounds like maybe a fretless bass. But anyway, so I just did it over the droning E, and uh, hopefully you could see what I was doing there. But um, I do play it in this position. I see a lot of guys online playing it like this. Um, the E minor, like the E minor here. And then the D here. And then the E minor 7. And then the riff, um, the 10th fret. But I watched a live thing from 88. And I assume that's the guy who played it on the wreck. And he's playing everything here on the 12th. He's playing the E minor like this. Um, basically just with his finger, these two notes. Then the D chord. And then the E minor 7 and back up to here again. So that's how I played it. Um, right now, I just wanted to show you. I also have the guitar um, tuned. Um, we had this now. It's standard for that intro. But I just wanted to show you something cool. I was watching a video with Roger Fisher, the original guitar player for Heart. And he had tuned in Magic Man. Um, everything's standard tuning, but the B string he brings up to a D. So you have E, A, D, G, and then D, and then G. So, he, so when he plays that chord in Magic Man, the opening chord, he can just play the bop, this here, a G, and then everything else is open. So he's playing it like that, but really it's for that this chord when he goes. So it's like. And I just thought that was like the coolest thing, so I thought I would share it. Um, Anyways, I thought that was really cool. This guitar, just so uh, if you don't remember it, this is my um, basically Frankenstein Strat that I put together from parts. I bought the body on eBay for 140 already relic like this. I bought this steel pick guard from a company in Australia, uh, Pro Steel Guards in Australia. Um, the humbucker is a DiMarzio Fred. And I forget these two. One's an HS2 and the other one's like a virtual vintage. Um, they were given to me years ago by a guitar builder named Leo Scala. He put them in a guitar for me and I actually ended up liking them. Um, the headstock's reverse headstock. It is a Warmoth headstock. And then I had the Fender Stratocaster 70s logo lasered on. But straightened. Actually, it's really not so much a... 70s logo as it is a Dan Smith style logo. Um, standard fe uh, Fender Stratocaster bridge with um, the um, saddles from uh, the Graph Tech. Uh, the inlay here, the skull inlay was also done for me from Warmoth. It came with the neck. That's how I got it. And um, it is a Clapton shaped V, stainless frets, one and three quarter nut, so it's wide. And it feels like a wide one and three quarter. It feels wider than some others that I have. Um, beefy, I love it. This guitar is a, a great guitar for me. Um, I use it as my in-room beater. But um, anyways, I really wanted to show you that tuning. Let me just get back to the normal tuning. You know, I was thinking about this, and, um, you know, I do a lot of ranting and raving and whatnot, and I, very rarely do I seem to talk about um, 
like what got me to play the guitar or when I first wanted to play guitar you know it's it's funny um, I hear so many times like uh, people say oh I, I wanted to play guitar for the girls um, which I, I, I don't know I, I never really thought like that it just wasn't my my thought process I, I was thinking much more when I was a kid a friend of mine um, his brother started taking drum lessons and I'm like it just made sense I'm like oh, I'll play guitar and we'll start a band it was basically just that process right there that thought I mean I loved music as a kid so I just thought like cool I'll learn guitar and we'll start a band it wasn't like I even thought deeply into it and we jammed a few times and played a little bit uh, once I started playing and uh, God, I can remember we used to play Eric Clapton's Cocaine for like 15 minutes to like a half hour version of just playing the same. Oh God, I, I think of that song now and I hate it because of that, because it's so pedestrian, I guess I would say. It's just, it bothers me. But the first song that I wanted to play on guitar when I started playing guitar was I Wanted to Learn How to Play Black Diamond by Kiss. And uh, I have a friend in Los Angeles who has started taking guitar, and that's been his one song that he wants to play. And I just find it very funny because it was for me, it was one of mine. And uh, once I could play it, I kind of was like, okay, that's cool. Um, now I want to learn everything from Zeppelin. And so Zeppelin kind of was like what kept me going when I learned Whole Lot of Love and then Heartbreaker and. Because I was just, I was really getting out of Kiss. I, I hadn't liked them. I would probably say Dynasty. No, not Dynasty. Unmasked had come out already. And I was already on my stop listening to them. I think even... Yeah, Unmasked was the brand new album that was out. And I started messing around with uh, Black Diamond. And then once I got that down, um, I literally never wanted to hear another Kiss song again. Uh, until a few years later. Everything else at that point was Zeppelin. I was really just trying to get into Zeppelin. And then from Zeppelin, it was definitely, um, I had a, a window of Ozzy and Judas Priest and some Sabbath. I was definitely into the heavier stuff. And um, a lot of Glenn Tipton stuff. I was really, and, and Michael Shanker group. But I was really listening to a lot of um, Unleashed in the East by um, Judas Priest was a big album that I would come home from high school and I'd want to sit with that album and I'd just jam along to it. I wasn't even playing, like I would play the riffs as he was playing it, but his leads, they were like inspiring me to try to, to stretch a little bit and do my own thing. And I would learn what he was doing as well. And then I, I got into, uh, and then Shanker as well. Uh, I had a, um, when I was a freshman, uh, like an upper, well actually a guy was already out of school, but he was a a friend of a friend of mine's older brother and he was like you got to check out um ufo obsession and uh michael schenker group msg so i got those two albums um you know being young back then was really cool i can only imagine what being 13 or 14 today is and someone says yeah look here's music you can check out because now there's just so much great stuff back then you know you were pretty much like well, there was still a lot of good stuff there, but you were hunting it down. And today, it's in so much excess. I think the 90s had a lot of great bands, um, especially if you're into heavy stuff like metal. I think um, the album Blind by Corrosion of Conformity, I think, is one of the most overlooked albums because um, the bigger album, Deliverance, came out after that, and I thought it was poppy, and it was like... I wasn't crazy about the guitar players taking on the singer role. I just thought that album was like... It, it may have been a little bit more commercial. The other one had so much more groove, and it was so much sab much more like Sabbath, and all the elements of Sabbath were brought to a modernization. I really dug. But anyways, to be like 13 or 14 today, it must be unbelievable to get into guitar and see all the things that you have, and then to be able to come on YouTube and watch people playing it and, and seeing how things are done. You know, when when I was a kid, we I never knew anything about tunings. I to find out all those things were different in you know the drop d tunings and then learning all that and um here i just showed you the tuning for uh magic man on one of the guitars for roger fisher's guitar it, it's it's just all great stuff and i think the web has so much great stuff but um 
Basically, I was curious. Put in your comments. Tell me the song, the first song you learned on guitar that you wanted to learn on guitar. I know it's like customary. A lot of people think that it's um, um, the Deep Purple song, um, Smoke on the Water. But it wasn't for me. I think everyone plays it or learns how to play it at one thing. What was the song that you like? I want to learn how to play this song. I, I saw a video recently, and I think it was Steve Lukather saying that he was learning. I think it was the Standell's Dirty Water was his first song, which made me think of it. I was like, man, what was mine? And then I'm like, clearly I remember it. It was um, Black Diamond by Kiss, that whole, you know. All that uh, fun stuff. But anyways, um, just thought I would share that. Please share with me what yours was. I'd be curious to see. I think it's really interesting. Um, don't really think it's telling of what player you'll become, but it's just interesting how we gravitate to something, and that's what starts us on a journey to, you know, playing guitar. Anyways, very good. Mr. Blue... Mr. Blutowski, zero point zero. You're right on target. You're right on the money. Everything you said. You hit the nail right on the head with your comments, what you're saying today. You're 150% correct.